everybody. Super Vader 400 here, back for another video. And this time, this is my thought, I mean, this is um my Killer Instinct video game memories. This is my salute of the Killer Instinct um franchise. Of course, um of course, like I said, I'm going to give my history. I'm going to give my history. I'm going to give my history with the franchise and what I want to see from the why I like the franchise and what I want to see from the franchise in the future. And of course, already, let's start off with my history with the franchise. I first played Killer Instinct in 1995, and I still remember the day I played it. And thanks to YouTube, uh, thanks to YouTube, well, I didn't get to play it again, but I got to remember how awesome the game was. I haven't played the game since 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 95 and 96. I haven't played the game since. I first played the game. The, I first played the game on the Super Nintendo. A friend of mine had the game. A friend of mine had uh, uh, two friends of mine had the game, and I remember going over to their house all the time back in '95 and uh, playing this awesome um, video game. And of course, I've always been a huge, and ever since '95, I've been a huge fan of Killer Instinct for for its large and colorful cast, for its large and colorful cast of characters. For his large and colorful cast of um, characters, its awesome storyline, its awesome dark grim storyline, music, um, over the top, over the top announcer, over the top announcer, and fast pace, fast pace, intense, intense gameplay and in depth fighting engine, in depth fighting engine. Killer Instinct is one of the best and most underrated fighting games of all time. I love Killer Instinct, Street Fighter, and Mortal Kombat, but if you would told if you if you made me choose Killer Instinct, Killer Instinct is will probably be the one of the best fighting games. It will be the best of, of that series, man. And just like I said, just like Eternal Champions, the video game I talked about in the last video of this series, um underrated fighting game. Once again, just like Sega did with Eternal Champions, Killer Instinct only after two games, two, only after two games, Rare immediately dropped this series. Despite huge demand for K K Killer Instinct Three, they dropped this game for um a bunch of games with talking animals like Banjo Kazooie, which was awesome, and Fur Fighters, which was also um awesome. But um like I said, I enjoy platforms, but I like action fighters and shooters and I wanted Killer Instinct um Killer Instinct back. The only thing I don't probably like about Killer Instinct is and it, it, they still have this going on today with the reboot is I do not like this side scrolling I do not like this side scrolling 2D gameplay. Especially in Killer Instinct, a game with three D with three D um with three D um with three D um graphics. With three D graphics. Um um um, I don't like the side scrolling um, 2D movement. The only time you get some 3D movement is was one of the one of the coolest scenes where you're on top of a building, where you're on top of a building doing the um, where or one stage where you're on top of the um building and going back to that um huge gameplay. Like I said, I love um the fighting styles in this game. You got um um ninjutsu or kung fu, which will be Jago's. That's Jago style, Jago style with with um with energy attacks similar to Ryu Ryu, and of course he has a a, a uppercut, a spinning uppercut similar to um Ken Shiryu Ken, and um and of course um you got T J Combo with his awesome boxing roll combination moves, combination moves. Then you got um uh, going back to Jago, his awesome kick. Combo. That's his killer combo, followed by a Shuriken. Um, then of course, um, Orchid. I like Orchid story-wise, but gameplay-wise, I do not like Orchid and never played as Orchid back when I um, and only played as Orchid once and didn't like Orchid, man. And you got Full Gore with his energy, with his um, with his um energy, with his um. With his blades, with his energy blades, with his energy blades, his his energy blade combos. Then of course you got um, 
spinal, spinal with his sword, the, the skeleton. Um, you got Glacius, you got Glacius, the, the ice monster, the ice creature composed of nothing but ice. You got Sindor, a creature composed of nothing but flames with his flame moves. And um, in the sequels, in the sequels, you got um, Tusk, Tusk. Who he reminds me of He Man, another favorite character of mine. But he's actually ba he's probably based on Conan the Barbarian. And um, you got um, who else is in this game? Oh yeah, there was there's also this cool Amazon woman. I don't remember her name. Then there was um, Chief Thunder, Chief Thunder, Chief Thunder, who is also he's like he's like a punk rocker. He's an Indian. He's a stereotypical cliched um Indian shaman type character. He looks he looks like a um. A punk rocker, a punk rocker with the cool mohawk, and then of course you got um um who else is in this game? Oh yeah, Spine. Oh oh my Richard Spino. Um oh yeah, Raptor. He's one of my other least favorite characters in the game. Uh, dinosaur. You got Saber Wolf, or a were a werewolf. Um then you got Garganos, Garganos, the the demon, the demon, the other major, the other main protagonist uh, antagonist of the game. It's um Jingles duty to finish him and um full gore off full gore off um like i said and then so yeah that's the um awesome um that's the um awesome gameplay like i said it that's the awesome gameplay in the fighting engine and of course like i said i love the story mode love the story of course um it's ultra tech spot swinger tournament while most of the characters in the game while most of the while most while the characters in the game have their own motivations for, for participating in this awesome tournament the awesome tournament the plot mostly concerns Jago orchid and TJ combo I consider these three to be kill, to be the main characters of killer instinct when I think killer instinct these are the first three characters to come to mind then of course Tusk and the Amazon woman from killer instinct um two these these are these are the five main characters that come to mind when I think Killer Instinct, and of course Full Gore as the antagonist. When I when, when when I see these pictures, when I think Killer Instinct, these are the main characters that come to mind. When I think um Killer Instinct, and um and of course um another thing I loved about the game, of course um that I loved about the game were the one thing that got me not only were the copious amounts of blood, just like from Mortal Kombat, but also taken from Mortal borrowed from Mortal Kombat, the finishing moves or um what do they call in this game? Um the exe I know they're not called executions, um overkills, something like that. I keep forgetting what they were called. The the, the finishing maneuvers in this game there's one there's one called the overkill, then there's another one where you where you call it humiliation where you where I, I remember one where they made where they made what where, where where, which makes the characters dance. Yeah, um, um, so, um, yeah, they also have finishy moves, they also have, um, finishy moves, and then, of course, um, so, yeah, the first game I played was Killer Instinct on the Super Nintendo, and, oh, yeah, that's another thing I want to talk about. I'm surprised a game, even though they had to scale back the graphics a little bit, I'm surprised they, that the Super Nintendo managed to have a 3D-like video game. Uh, the, the Super Nintendo managed to have a 3D, a video game with 3D graphics on the on the ancient Super Nintendo. Every other game was like 2D. This was like a full 3D game. Even games like Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter had to be scaled back a bit, and Pit Fighter had to be scaled back again when they got to the Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis consoles. You had this video game with 3D um, graphics. Then you see the arcade version you see the arcade version which looks even better which looks even better that game still looks good today the arcade that game still holds up today killer instinct and mortal kombat graphics wise still hold up today still hold up today um um still um still um hold up today and um um and i remember um like i said 95 96 playing this game in the Arcades, man. And I remember how awesome um, this game was. Then I remember uh, about time, but when I when I finally wanted to upgrade to a Super Nintendo, I was always more of a Sega guy. I love both. I love all. I love both consoles. But uh, but like I said, I was a Sega guy back in the day. Back in the day. Um. 
back when it was time to upgrade to Super Nintendo, Super Nintendo, um, Super Nintendo, um, um, Super Nintendo, when it was time to upgrade to Super Nintendo, um, the Super Nintendo, the Sega Genesis, and the Sega Saturn all became obsolete, all became obsolete, and they stopped making them, and, um, and I had to up, and I was forced to upgrade to the PlayStation, when I was, I was supposed to upgrade to the PlayStation, and, and of course, then the N64, I wanted Killer Instinct Gold, but I, throughout the N64's life, and I, I never saw Killer Instinct Gold in stores, and of course, I also got my Nintendo 64 late, by the time I got a Nintendo 64, they were about ready for the GameCube, so I was always late with consoles, with the exception of the PS2. I was always late with consoles. With the exception of the original PlayStation and the PS2, I was always late with consoles. Um, 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 so, um, um, I never got a chance to get Killer Instinct Go, but I was most recently about to get it up until they decided to re-release it on the Xbox One as part of Rare Replay with other classic games like Banjo-Kazooie. So, congratulations, Microsoft. Thanks for resurrecting, um... Thanks for resurrecting uh, Dead Franchise and Killer Instinct, and thanks for coming up with a complication game that 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 um coming up with a compli that reunites uh, that reunites me with Killer Instinct and other classic rare games like Banjo Kazooie. Like I said, rare. They're one of my favorite companies, but I'm gonna be my favorite video game companies list. When you see them, they're gonna be towards the bottom. They make awesome games. They make awesome games, then they stop making them. Yeah, the awesome Battletoads series, they stop making that. Killer Instinct, yeah, they use more popular too. They drop Killer Instinct for a bunch of games with talking animals. And the Killer Instinct Reaper. To tell you the truth, when I first did a um video on my Killer Instinct, when I first did a video on my thoughts on the Killer Instinct reboot, the 2013 reboot, two 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 years ago, back in 2000, late 2014. I was actually initially excited. I was initially excited for the game. Now, after seeing the gameplay and seeing the gameplay and looking at the DLC and all this, I'm some of my excitement has turned to disappointment. And now I have a like hate thing with the game. Like I said, I'm gonna start off with the positives. Like the fact that Killer Instinct is back in the 2010s plus already. Of all the franchises I want, to, of all the dead video game franchises I want to be resurrected, they fu they resurrected one, and that was Killer Instinct. That was Killer Instinct. Good job. I'm happy to see Jago, T T J Combo, Orchid, Orchid, Fulgore, Fulgore, Spinal, Glacius, Tusk, Tusk, and even um Rats. Um, um one of the Battletoads makes an appearance in this video game. So see these characters back in 2010. See, I warms my heart to see these characters back in 2010. Um, upgraded graphics, awesome. I love the remix, Killer Risk, the badass. Dun, 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 the upgraded Killer Instinct, um, music, man. Then of course you got um. Then of course um you got um. Then of course you got um. Um, um. Um, um, the, um, what else, what else do you got? Um, what else? Um, oh, yes, like I said, the, the upgraded, um, music, the upgraded graphics, the upgraded music, um, the, I like the new upgraded costume for Jago, then, then he also has his classic costume, I love the addition of the new Jago, Shadow Jago, an evil version of Jago, kind of like Ra Evil Ryu from Street Fighter 4, from the Street Fighter series, um, series. So I like the new graphics. I love the new announcer, and I love also they have voice acting now. They have voice acting um now. Um, each one has dialogue when they win. When they uh, win, um, uh, uh, what I um. So these are all the uh, positives. Now come the negatives. First of all, the character Chief Thunder. I don't like his design. It looks like a combination of T Hawk. From Street Fighter and Night Wolf. I love the old punk rocker look with the Mohawk from the old games. Um, um next was the DLC. I don't like that the game when you start you only get seven character you only get seven you only get seven characters. There were games back in the nineties that had more characters. 
than this. That had more characters. Um, that had more characters than this. That is a joke. They have only seven characters to start the game, and considering the Xbox One is already expensive to begin with, now you got to pay even more money for characters who should be in the game. But I guess this is not too bad since I heard they're releasing a PC version, which I'm looking into because, like I said, I really don't want to pay an expensive Xbox. Even though, this is one, even though this game right here was one of the main reasons I was even getting an Xbox One in the first place, I don't want to buy an expensive Xbox One just to play just to play this game. Which brings me to my last problem with the game is that in that it's it's the same thing from several years ago. Um, gameplay wise, it's the same thing from several years ago, and it's not as good as it was several years ago. The combo breakers, the combination moves, and the move, the the combination um moves look good but they, they don't have no impact they, they're weak they're weak they're, they're, they're weak they're not powerful and fast paced like they were and impactful like they were in the old games the next problem i have with the game um is that going back to it being the same thing is literally the same 2d side scroller it was several years ago but at least back then that was the style in the 90s that was the arcade style in the um, 90s, now in the 2000s, like I said, like I said in my Eternal Champions review, when it comes to storyline, I actually prefer these 2D fighting games more. When it comes to storyline, when it comes to gameplay, when it comes to gameplay, I prefer 3D arena, arena style combat. I want a circle. I don't like this side, side to side crap. I want a circle, like in games like Virtual Fighter, Tekken, um, Tekken, the the MMA games. The um uh, the MMA games, the um boxing games, the professional wrestling games, and of course um up, uh, other games like Power Stone, Pit Fighter, and the uh, the the Naruto Ninja Storm series and the Clash of Ninja series from um uh, on the um from the Clash of Ninja series on the GameCube and Wii systems with systems. Like I said, I want um I want 3D arena style combat. When it comes to story, I prefer these 2D games like Mortal Kombat, Killer Instinct, um, Eternal Champions, um, the SNK games, and games like and games like that. But when it comes to when it comes when it comes to combat, when it comes to combat, I prefer these 3D games. Um, yeah. So like I said, man. Um, another 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 awesome. Um, but like I said, um, I'm happy that Killer Instinct is back, and I guess since they're like they're releasing a PC version this year. That means I would only have to buy. I would only have to pay how much the PC version video game costs. I don't have to pay that one time. And of course, then I get the. Um, then I can just get the. Then I can just buy the DLC stuff. Um, so like I said, um, I'm just happy Killer Steve back at another thing. I loved um, the comic books. They had the acclaim adapt just like they did with the Two Rock series. They adapted the story. They adapted the storyline into a series of comics with someone. A YouTuber called Mortal Kombat Comics, comics spelled with a K, for people who decide to look up that channel after watching this video, was nice enough to upload the videos for me. The, vi the uh, upload the comics for me is called Killeristic Special. The first three are called Killeristic, and the last three are called Killeristic Special. It's a six-issue series, six-issue comic series, and. Like I said, I'll talk more. I'll review and talk about the comments in full detail in a review of those um, comments. But I watched them. I downloaded them using Real Player on this new Windows 7 machine, and now I have these comics in my um, collection, man. I have these comics in my um, I have these com I have these comics on my own, oh, in my own collection, and it was finally good. I've been wanting to read about these comics for a long time. I first researched them in 2009 a guy was reviewing them and he showed pictures of them and it was it felt good to finally read um it felt good to finally read these comics and this was disappointing they didn't try to adapt this for television and film um so like i said killer instinct i'm so happy if killer instinct is um i'm so happy killer instinct is back man all right um The Super Vader out. Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter are next.